Hello friends. So I'm about to leave the house in a couple of minutes and um, I'm gonna be heading over straight to the rickshaw theater. Um, currently it's not even 3 p.m. yet and um, I'm gonna be seeing Orphan Land. And as most of you guys already know, I'm not only seeing them, but today I'm gonna be performing with them. And um, my cat's being cute. Uh, and this has been a dream of mine for a very, very long time. And I'm so like, my stomach is turning and I'm, I'm very nervous, but I'm very excited and I'm gonna go have coffee. So it's just gonna make everything a lot worse. I have to show you my cat. She's being really cute right now. She was being cute. But yes, it's been a dream for such a long time and I'm so excited to see them and see them in person and um, they've been so kind to me and so supportive of what I do with belly dance and metal for many years now and um, we did talk about collaborating years ago and so it's kind of, it's, it's, it's weird now being able to see them in person and it just all happened really fast. I only kind of got to know that they're going to be coming to Vancouver maybe like 15 days before it actually happened so I had about like two weeks to prepare for it which is plenty of time but it was like most of the time I know that I'm gonna dance with the band like months before and um, so it's just it was like suddenly I'm here and, and yeah so very excited very very excited my mom's gonna be coming she's gonna come later I'm gonna go a little bit earlier because we're gonna do sound checks and it's just good to be there and see kind of where I'm gonna be on stage. I always love um, and I, I try to take the opportunity whenever I can to just kind of figure out where I'm gonna be on a stage because it's different with every band, you know, like it's good to know where you're gonna be. And um, the Rakeshaw Theater is a decent sized stage but it's not that big. So if I could dance with Moonspell, I'm pretty sure I can do it with Orphan Land too, but um, it's not the biggest stage out there. So I gotta be like careful and I gotta rehearse from my space. Like I gotta know where I'm gonna be dancing. Um, my last, my very last performance in Las Vegas, the stage was so tiny and like there are people that can dance on a very, very small stage and like rock it. For me, my, the two rehearsal, sorry, the two performances or the two dance routines I put together required a lot of space which was probably not a good idea for me to do. I just didn't know how small the stage was gonna be. And it was right next to the swimming pool. So I had this inner panic of, if I just do one wrong turn, I'm inside the swimming pool. It was just literally right next to it. So um, there was definitely like a fear <laughs> dancing there. And um, yeah, if you guys know my belly dance videos, I, I do a lot of like, I kick the air and spin and headbang and all that stuff. and. When you're doing that on a, on a small stage, there's a very small space that you can move around. So yeah, um, this time I, I definitely rehearsed for a small space. I'm learning, I'm learning from my mistakes and hopefully it'll go well. I'm excited, the Vancouver crowd is really cool and I think Vancouver is gonna absolutely love Orphan Land and they're just so different and there's just, there's so much like, I, I love Middle Eastern music. I grew up on traditional Persian music and traditional Azerbaijani music and, you know, traditional Arabic and mostly Persian and Azerbaijani. Um, so when I hear elements of that in metal, it's just like perfection. So perfect. And um, yeah, so it's, it's very cool to see or hear a band do it and do it so effortlessly because there are you know, it's it's hard to mix those two sounds together, I think, and to make it sound good. For the last couple of days, I've been playing the song and Propaganda from their new album. Just all- my cat is being cute again, I have to show you. Are you- what is this? What is she doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, she's so fluffy. But yes, I was playing the song and Propaganda, like, over and over again and I just that's been my jam for the last couple of days getting me excited about tonight and if you guys know well you don't know but I'm dancing to the song Sapari which is like the song the song um, 
yeah, it's it's the first song that made me fall in love with that band. So it's just it's very precious to me that I'll be dancing to it. And it's such a happy song. It's such a like good feeling to be able to like not be map soon as much on stage like all serious and, and shit so and just kind of dance and be happy so i'm very very excited i'm gonna go grab my coffee and and go meet my brothers and i'm very excited i'm so honored to be sharing the stage with them this is so cool especially in a time like this where um where people are, are kind of divided and and there's less love seemingly it's really, it makes me very proud to um, be an example, I guess, um, that it, that's nonsense. It has, it has no, there is no room in this world for hate and for nonsense like that. We're all, you know, we're all lovers of art and music and just having a good time and that's really all this is about. Nothing else matters at all in, in this world for us. Um, those of us with this kind of mindset, um, we just want to have a good time together. We just want to be artistic. We just want to be expressing ourselves. And when we look at other people, we see people. We don't see whatever um, label is attached to that person. It doesn't matter. We're all metalheads. We're all having a good time. And I'm very proud to be doing this today. It's just such a big deal and i um, very happy. I'm going to go have coffee. I will see you guys. Bye. Ready to do drums? They just spin it to 21 and put it back up. Hello friends, <clears throat> so I'm back home, as you can see my hair is a mess, my makeup mostly is off, you can see my actual skin now, it's not good, um, and 
I'm kind of tired, but I just wanted to make this entry um, at the end of the day after the performance. Um, the next videos are going to be um, Orphan Land and other performances that I haven't posted yet from recent live um, performances, other videos. But tonight was one of the best nights I've had in my life when it comes to Mavsun. I can't really begin to explain what it feels like to um, to perform with these people that you look up to and um, to share the stage with them and to share a moment with them so precious and um, these guys I've been a huge fan of Orphan Land since 2007 um, back then I was belly dancing to metal music but I wasn't sharing it anywhere I had you know no confidence or actually no interest to share it it was just kind of in my bedroom and in 2010 I finally opened up um, my YouTube channel even then I didn't expect to have fans or subscribers and that's why when it came I was shocked um, so I can say that since 2010 when I shared my stuff and I started kind of thinking about performing with bands um, Orphan Land was one of the bands that I dreamt of performing with so after I, I posted a lot of videos, I reached out to a couple of the guys, Kobe for example, and um, we were talking, like I, I belly danced to them and I sent them the video and I was like, hey, you know, this is what I do, I'm a huge fan, I would love to dance with you guys and they were so open and so loving even back then and, you know, Kobe was like, yeah, absolutely, you know, I was talking to Yuri as well and they were all like, yes, we would love it, but the opportunity never came. Um, they were never in Vancouver and at the time I wasn't really able to travel anywhere I didn't have the money to travel I didn't really have the time I was going to school and I was working and finally um, 15 days before you know I, I was gonna dance with them I I get a message and I know they're gonna be in Vancouver so I thought for initially I thought they're gonna go to Seattle and I was willing to fly over there um, not that I have to I can drive but it's easier I guess um, but when I found out there in Vancouver, I was like, oh my god, it's happening. And, you know, long story short, I guess, um, tonight was one of the most precious moments of my life. These guys have such good energy, I can't even begin to explain it. Um, I'm reliving all those beautiful and inspiring feelings. Um, for example, when I danced with Moonspell, and, and my entire world changed. I was like, oh my god, this is what it feels like to perform with people that really appreciate you and really inspire you. And it, I'm reliving that feeling again and I found new brothers and, and new, new people that I now consider family. And I've been so, so lucky to be able to work with these amazing guys in, in Orphan Land and for example in Moonspell that I go home and, and I, I genuinely miss them. Like when I go home and the night has come to an end, I genuinely miss them. I really wish that, you know, we lived closer and we could, you know, hang out and have these amazing conversations about our backgrounds and about um, life and, and religion and politics and yet have these conversations with people that are just so, um, so open. Do you know what I mean? Um, and that have so much love for just music you know this is this is all they want to do is is be creative and make something they're proud of and make people happy and just kind of unite everybody through um, metal music so to have this moment tonight with them i feel so so proud i feel so privileged i feel so honored um that i i was given that opportunity and um hopefully in the near future it will happen again hopefully i won't wait another six years i will travel wherever i have to and um, i want to relive that experience again and the vancouver crowd are amazing one of the greatest greatest crowds i've ever performed in front of crazy crazy good the energy was beautiful and the people were happy and i was looking at them dancing from up there on the stage and I was looking over at Kobe and he was smiling and dancing and happy and I was just like this is this is the this is it. Um, it was such a beautiful moment. Every single um, member of this band is just I love them so much um, and 
tonight was amazing and I'm just recording this video while I'm having a ramble here grabbing my hair like I'm going crazy and, and talking to you guys about how inspired I am right now I need a shower, I need a shower I need to wash my hair I, tonight was the most humid performance of my life um, the warmth and humidity <laughs> was out of this world um, even before I changed into my costume, I was sweating off my makeup. So I'm actually shocked that it's still here. It's looking slightly decent considering I performed two songs instead of one. Last minute, we decided to do it our way. I, ooh, one thing you should know since this is going to go up first. I opened up um, the Orphan Land show. So before they even went up on stage, I went up on stage and I am so honored. I am so 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 honored that they let me open up for them so I, I performed at their opening um, song and um, another song near the end of the of the gig and I'm dying I'm doing I'm, I'm dying I can't do this right now oh okay okay we can do this we can do this I don't ever touch my hair why am I touching my hair um, but I can't believe it it's just it's so cool it's so cool I'm just having a moment right now on camera um, and I'm starving I haven't had anything all day um, I don't I don't eat um, I, f I fast during performance days so I'll have the smallest little breakfast at like 5 in the morning and then I'll go back to sleep and I'll basically fast the whole day I'll have just water and coffee I mean I guess it's not fasting when you're having water coffee and a little bit of chocolate because um, I feel sick when I dance on a stomach that's not empty um, even when I have something small, I still get very, very sick. So um, all that jiggling and shimmying and headbanging gets me. So I basically fast all day other than liquids and a little bit of chocolate and carbs, obviously just a tiny bit of like maybe one spoon of honey. So I'm starving. I have a big, beautiful um, spaghetti with Alfredo sauce waiting for me. It's currently in my backpack. He's been with me all night, um, and that's what I'm going to have, but tonight's been amazing, um, and, you know, as a result of tonight being so good and so positive and just, you know, the, the energy and the connection that we have, the band and myself, and how we get along and, and just how we share this, it's the same kind of energy, I have a very good feeling that great things are going to happen between us in the near future. I really hope so, and um, I would be honored to share the stage with them again. One of the most amazing experiences of my entire life, I could say. And um, I was worried, actually, um, uh, starting this year that with live performances, because the last time I performed with a band was years ago. I've done a lot of live performances, but it's mostly been for like the Vampire Ball and you know shows like that that are that are a lot. It, they're different. It's a whole different crowd. It's a whole different world. But I haven't performed with a band for years, so I was a bit like, "Am I gonna be? How am I gonna do it?" And so the night went very well. Um, it could not have been better. And more more precious than anything, the new friendships that I've made um, are making me feel so so happy, like so deeply deeply happy. And um, I'm sorry this is dragging. This is so dragging, but this is my vlog. I, I get to talk as much as I want. Um, comments, unicorn. Unicorn. What? Unicorn love. If you're watching until this point. That's how I know you're real. You're, you're a real supporter. <laughs> if you comment, unicorn love. Um, I'm a terrible person. You get a cookie. You get an imaginary cookie if you've watched this long. How can you? What am I doing with my hair? I don't ever touch my hair this much. I'm gonna go wash it anyway. But yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. The night was great. My mom was there. My mom was there. Um, she came at the very beginning. She was there from the very first act until the very last. Um, I got her upstairs where nobody else was, like the, the special VIP area, so that she can be comfortable and, and record and just be happy and enjoy the show just in case she gets accidentally stuck in a, a mosh pit or something she was like I want to go down 
and I'm like, okay. And immediately she comes wearing like, <laughs> she comes wearing the most metal shirt that she owns um, with a little like, little satanic goat and a, I think it was like an upside down pen, not pentagram, upside down cross or something like that. And she's like, is this metal enough? <laughs> I'm like, yes. Um, so cute. And she, you know, she's like, I want to go down now. I'm bored up here. I'm like, okay, your, your ears are going to blow out. She's like, I don't mind. So I take her down and I'm like, you might want to stay back here. And she's like, no, 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 I want to go to the front. I want to hear it better and also get a better view and record you better. I'm like, okay, this is cool. Um, and so uh, she came, she, she stayed and she was loving every single band of the night. And, you know, it's amazing for me because um, the last many times I've performed with bands, um, uh, the opportunity never came for her to come and um, if I had a feeling that the venue was going to be a bit heavy I, I didn't want to bring her actually because I, I didn't want her to get uncomfortable or anything little did I know she is way more badass than I thought she would be um, she's there like vibing like she's loving it she's like she's you know as someone who doesn't dominantly listen to metal all the time she hears she hears it do you know what I mean when most people, when they're introduced to it or something, they, they're like, oh, it's just noise. She hears everything. Like, when I when I hear a part of the song, then I'm like, holy shit, that's a good, that's a good part of the song. She'll look at me and she'll be like, what is this madness? This is amazing. So she hears it, if that makes any sense. Um, so it was, I'm so proud of her. And she stayed until the very last song that Tyre, Tyr, Tyr, T-Y-R, the Viking metal band that I just fell in love with. Um, I don't know how to pronounce their beautiful name, but they're amazing. They're amazing, absolutely amazing men. Um, their music is crazy. And um, she stayed until the very end, in the very front, enjoying it. And, and um, at the end of it, she went and bought herself like band shirts from like Orphan Land and the second band that went from Quebec. Um, and yeah, so I'm very proud of her. And so yeah, she, I don't know. I'm just, it's very good to see her so supportive and, um, and I got a call from my dad and he did, he couldn't make it, but he was like, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm like, ha, ah. it was good. It was a, a generally a very, very good night. Um, I'm just having a moment here, like 14 minute rant. I'm so sorry, guys. I apologize. It's just, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Um, and, uh, very excited, very, very excited. And, um, yes, I'm saying and um a lot. That's when I'm very tired. But I will end this. This has been a very long um, vlog segment. I, did, I didn't get to record anything um, talking portion with, with Orphan Land, but that's okay. I'm going to see them hopefully very soon. And um, you will see us. And, and we, shall, we shall talk. Maybe I can gather a bunch of questions you guys have. For us in the band and we can make a little Q&A session together if we ever hang out um, that would be really cool actually but yeah and last but not least I want to say thank you guys so much if it wasn't for you um, encouraging me to make more videos I would never have made uh, an Orphan Land video and from there I would never have messaged Orphan Land saying I want to dance with you guys therefore I would have never had this night and I would not have been I would not make this video talking to myself in my camera after a very long sweaty gross night um, of absolute magic sharing a very special moment with you guys so you are just as much a part of this whole thing as I am and thank you for for being a part of this this little world that I've created and um, it wouldn't be the same without you so if you're here watching this thank you I really appreciate it and um, I love you guys. This year has been good so far and um, here is to a the other half of the year being also as, as cool and um, yes. Much love. Thank you guys so much and um, look forward to that video. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be cool. It was a great night. Okay, I'm gonna go shower. I love you guys.